This evening, the story of a young man's fight to continue his studies despite his failing vision. As Krista Campbell reports, the administration at the school he attends, as well as his peers, have struggles of their own getting help to send him overseas to save his sight. Life threw curves at you. It's just how you manipulate those curves. And that's what 25-year-old Poi Robinson has been doing practically all his life. When he was just a year old, he was diagnosed with glaucoma, a disease of the eye which often causes blindness. At five years old, he had his first surgery. Removed both eyeballs, drained the fluids, did some other procedures, put them back in, and I was seen out of my right eye for probably not to the best as yours would be doing but I was seen to some extent. But an incident at his primary school a few years later would damage his right eye in which he eventually lost vision completely. Left with partial vision in only one eye, which worsened as time went by, Poi continued to excel educationally. He received a scholarship to attend the University of Georgia in the U.S. and on his return to Jamaica was accepted to the University of Technology and the University of the West Indies. But he opted to pursue a bachelor's degree at the Caribbean Maritime Institute. Early last year, things hit a turn for the worst. His vision almost completely gone, Poi was worried about his studies. Thankfully, his classmates and school administrators rushed to help, getting him to and from school and helping him with classes. We read to him so he can remember, because he remembers very well. Um, we assist him with his homework, all of that, and we also record classes for him. So when he's unable to come to school or when he's not able to come to class, we, he has that recorder to listen to. So he knows everything that happens here. He asked the registry if they could increase the size of the front of the exam papers, which they did to facilitate him. And uh, went through the exam, they gave him extra time because they found he had severe challenges. But it doesn't stop there. The Institute has secured a sponsorship from several corporate businesses to send Poi overseas to see what corrective surgery, if any, can be done. The Shipping Association have donated 3000 US dollars and um, Jamaica National Building Society don donated $1,500 and the contribution of staff and students we're going to put together another $1,000. We have access to numerous healthcare facilities in the United States, uh, specialists of all sorts, and we're able to make arrangements and get quick access and be able to do that at, at, at a cost, cost effectively. School administrators say they also plan to set up an account for Poi to get additional funding. In the meantime, rehashing a conversation he had with Poi, Mr. Pinnock said it's made him more grateful for the little things people often take for granted. He said to me, um, sir, my greatest wish is if I could just see like a normal person for just one minute, I'd be the happiest person in the world. And one day he shared again that the most embarrassing thing is eating you don't even know when your food is finished. With a ray of hope, I'm Krista Campbell. A Ray of Hope is brought to you by Quartz. Quartz adds the furnishing touch.